thinkmindful.com. Today you'll be talking about Be The Change. Fantastic speaker so far, it's quite impressive. For some reason the only thing that's sticking to my head is the procrastination of the failure, which is probably, probably not a good attitude to come to talk to in front of you now. But, um, my friend Sonia told me about this talk uh, on Tuesday, and on the spur of the moment I signed up. Um, on Tuesday night, when I was filling in the form, you have to fill in a form uh, to do the talk. I, I was trying to think about what inspires me. Um, so the question was, it's, the talk's about inspiration, to, what, what inspires you comes naturally. And I couldn't think of anything. So I thought, I, along with procrastination, I left it until last night to start thinking about procrastination. And um, ironically, uh, I, I wasn't inspired. I talk about inspiration, I'm totally uninspired. So as a kind of technical geek, the first thing I did is I went to Google and I put in a uh, definition of inspiration. And Google comes back with this, which is um, the, defin of the definition of inspiration is the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something. Um, I'm not sure that's the greatest defini definition of inspiration for most people, but it made me think. Because up to that point, when I thought about inspiration, it's about uh, an external event. What inspired me? Who inspired me? Um, but when I thought about it, the, the reason I couldn't think of anything like that before was because actually a lot of inspiration that I find comes from within. So for me, there's inspiration when you see, um, when you feel something differently, when you do something differently. And I realised the difficulty that I had is that inspiration to me, in the first way of looking at it, was this massive thing. When have I been inspired to do something amazing? But actually there's little moments of inspiration in all our lives. When you think about it, there's little tiny moments of inspiration. So, one of the things I thought about was the things that make me happy and how I'm inspired to be in those moments. So, I love photography and I'm inspired to take pictures. Um, I love spending time with my niece. We make up little stories together. She's two and a half. We giggle and laugh. I'm honestly inspired to be around her and to change her life. I love writing. These are all small inspirational things in my life. And I'm sure you have small inspirational things in your own life that you look at. Um, you mentioned thinkmindful.com, which is a website I... So last Saturday, the, the Saturday before last, I woke up and I thought I'm going to do something different today. I was kind of bored. I thought, I want to do something different. And I had all these ideas for kind of positive thinking websites and blah, blah, blah. So I just, the first thing is that I registered the website. Um, once I'd registered it, I thought, well, I'm going to just, just find a design I like the look of. Find a design. I did a logo. This is all in the space of a few hours. I was kind of inspired just by this one small thing of wanting to do something different. And by the end of the day, I'd, written, I'd, I'd done this website, thinkmindful.com, full of these quotes, inspirational quotes. I love good inspirational quotes. Um, and I, I say that because it's these small things. I've got one minute left. Well, uh, so um, I think what I want to get across is that, for me at least, and maybe for some of you, inspiration can be small things that we do. Um, Gandhi said, "Be the change that you'd like to see in the world." So what I'd like to leave people with really is to think about if you could make a change, just one change, what would it be? If you could make an inspirational change, a small inspirational change each day, what would it be? And importantly to remember that inspiration doesn't have to be this massive thing that you're doing. It can be a choice. The way I thought about it this morning on the way here on my bike was, you know when the postman comes and you're not home, you've got a little postcard saying you weren't at home, you come back on Tuesday to re-deliver. And then maybe you're at work, so Tuesday you don't get it, you have to go to the post office to get it. And actually, if you leave it, it gets sent back to whoever sent it to you. I think inspiration is a little bit like that. You have to give it space to allow it into your life. You have to choose inspiration. And I think the last thing I want to say is that with that Gandhi quote, changing it slightly to be, be the inspiration for yourself. Be the change you would like to see in your own world. And for me, that's little moments of inspiration. So, thank you. Mr. Sidhu 